Hello everybody, today as you can see I've got some thrifty bits. They're in these old paper money bags, 10 shillings in threepences or three pences. Now they all came with, they originally had all sellotape around there but as you can see it totally disintegrated the sellotape. So let's have a look and see what's in here. I'm assured by the guy that I got them from they were bagged up in the late 60s and haven't been opened since, but we'll see. We'll have a look and see what's in there. Now, they're in here when I got them, and this old bag smells like straw. No, this old canvas bag. Okay, let's put them over to one side for the moment. There's, in fact, hang on a minute, there's one pound, two pounds, three pounds, ten shillings, and a few odd ones in there. So, and as you know, there's 80 threepenny bits to a pound. Right, well I've got one of these Whitman albums, uh, threepenny bits. This is a old tatty one. I bought quite a lot of these. Got a job lot. This was one of them. It's not brilliant. I need to upgrade it. Look at that. It's got. A, someone's put their finger right through that one. Never mind, it'll do for now, just to see whether we can get a date run. It only goes up to 1966. Let me move the camera there. Obviously when this uh, Whitman album was made, they didn't know when they were going to stop making them. I assumed it was going to be for 67. This is from... Now it says uh, copyright 1961 there, but because they've got the mintage figure for 1966 and not 1967, We've got to assume the album was made late 66, 67 time. Right, let's have a look at what we're looking for then. Look at the mintage figures. 66, 55 million of those. And I think 67 was even higher than that. I'll have to get that written in there. Um, if you want to have a look at the mintage figures there, and pause it and have a look. Ones I'm not expecting to find are the low mintage ones like 1946, only uh, 620,000. 1949, I think that's the rarest of the lot. 464,000, uh, probably 1950, 51, quite a low mintage on those as well, so we'll be lucky to find them, but uh, let's get going and see how we get on. And I bought this album empty, but you can see where someone has had coins before. They have been in those slots, look, you can see the outline. Doesn't look like anything's been in that one, 49, definitely 48. Probably not 46 either. So let's start the first bag. Well, at least we're guaranteed that the very first coin out of the bag is going to go into one of those slots. And what we got here? Uh, 1938. So let's get that in place over there. 1938. 14 million. Uh, 532,000. So that's the first one. Let's do a, let's have a few more on hand and see what we get. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, we've got a 45. I mean, they're in circulated condition because they weren't circulated anymore after 1967. So, 56. Uh, 37 there. Obviously, George the Sixth. And another 37. 1958, Queen Elizabeth II, a little bit grubby on that one. Uh, 56 again, and another 37. What have we got there? 1941, I've got that one yet, have I? Uh, Thirty-eight. Uh, 45, that's not bad condition. And what's this one? 64. That's not bad condition. So I'm hoping there's no 66s or 7s or anything like that. 39 and a 58. Let's get them in place. That's got them in place. So let's have a look at a few more. Don't do too many at once. Uh, 1960. We haven't got that one yet. 54, I don't think we've got that one. 37, yeah, I've got that. 52, right, still looking for that one. Another 52. 1941, 
that's quite a good condition. 38, 54, and another 54, which is the best one. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look at the rest of this bag. And let's see what we've got. Okay, 62, 54, 41, 1945, 42, 54. Uh, another, that's a grabby 54, I not even bother looking at that one again. 1940, 55, and there's a 65. That's in good condition for a 65. Apart from, from saying that, no, it's not worn, that's what I mean. Brass is a horrible metal to make coins out of, always tarnishes. 37, 1940 again, see what I mean? Look, horrible. Ah, put that to one side. I won't even look at that one. 45 and a 59. It's done the same. Oxidizes and a 37. That's a good condition, 1937. Right, let's swap the 1937 for this better condition one and put the rest in. It's coming along all right, not too bad. These one did on the two bags. So let's have a few more out of this one. There's a nice shiny one there. What's that? I hope it's not 67. It's a 65. That is a lovely condition, 65. I'm just hoping that this guy says when he uh, bagged them up was actually before 67. Uh, 65, lovely condition, 65. Okay, 54 again, lots of 54s, 52, 55 there, haven't got that one yet. 63, that's a nice condition for 63. 45, 45. 54 and, and a 55. Alright, uh, there's a 63. And 55, there's a 55. Right. Lovely. Now, where's that one I didn't look at? Curiosity has beaten me here. Uh, that's a 48 now. Well, we haven't got a 48, but I'll put it down there just in case we get a better one. Okay, they've got numbers on these bags, but I don't think that's relevant to what's inside them. 05, that one says. Okay, I'll wash you out. And let's see what we've got. 1937, I've got that one. 38. Uh, 1960, I think we got that one, didn't we? Yes, we did. 19, 1949! That's a 1949! Well, that is the scarcest one of the lot. I was no way expecting to find that. Oh, it's a bit marked. Not too bad, though. Something there. Is that going to come off? Yeah. 1949, though. That is the scarcest one. In that condition, you're probably looking about a 10 quid to buy that. Nice. Let's hope there's plenty more. Right, let me just zoom in a little bit on that. 55. Got that one, haven't we? Come on. Wow, 44. 44 is the one we need, I believe. 44, we certainly do. 60, what was that? Oh, jeez. Sixty-nine million of that one. Compare the differences between those two. And what's this? Uh, is that sixty-one or sixty-four? 
64 we got that one off. Right. Forty-eight. Now that's another one we haven't got, so we we'll put that in. Four million again. Not one of the uh, common ones, but not one of the rare ones either. Four million two hundred thirty thousand of that one. Now nineteen fifty-nine. I believe that's another one we need. Yep. Look at that. 28 million of those. Oh, we're getting there nicely. Still quite a lot to look through yet. Want another 1949 would be nice. 65. 1948 again. 65. 55. 38. Yeah, we've got 38. 1960 and 1955. So now we've got a 1948, I will get rid of that. I don't like putting these back because uh, it can infect all the others with this corrosion. Right, that's the rest of that bag that we got here then. 1960. 63. 63 again. 1955, got all these. 41, yep. 58, got that one. 54. And a 62. That's not bad condition for 62. Let's have a look when we got. Right, so down there, it's certainly better than that one. So I'll take that out and replace it with that one. 51 million of those, though. Right, let's have a look at a few more. I'll start speeding it up soon when we get to nearer to. Completion, if we do, 38, 58, 56, 56 again, I think it's 57 we're looking for, ah, oh, 53, there's a 53, and um, we haven't got that one yet, so let's put that in place, there's two different obverses, and uh, 1953 is one of them, and all the rest are different obverse, so if we find another 1953, I'll show you what they are. They're not particularly rare, 30 million, so we uh, should find another one. 37, 38, uh, uh, 57. Now, 57 we need, but uh, it's not the most brilliant condition, that is it? Put it in for now. 24 million of those. 37, 62. Uh, 54. Now you see we've got spaces there for two different obverses of the George the Sixth. I'll show you what they are. So here we've got a 1938 and a 1952. So on the 1938 we see Ind Imp, Emperor of India and of course that title was removed in 1948 so it's not on the later coin. So two different obverses there so we might as well get them put in. So that's the 52, and this one is 1938. There we are. Right, what are we looking for? 1943, 101 million. I can't believe I haven't found one of those yet, unless I've missed it. 1946, that's one of the rare ones, only 620,000 of those. 1950, 1.6 million, and 1951, 1.1 million, so not expecting to find those. Uh, we want the two obverses, which I will, uh, will have. I'm definitely going to find that. It's 53, surely. Uh, 61 there, 41 million of those. And 66 and 67, which there's no space for, I'm not expecting to find those because if the guy that sold me them is telling the truth, then these were bagged up in the mid-60s, and that explains why there's no 66 or 67. 
We'll see. Right, a few more. Oh, oh, and there is another scarce one, 1950. A bit shiny though, looks like it could have been shined up there. But it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Another unexpected find. Let's have a look at the mintage figure. Only 1,600,000 of that. Nice. Lovely. And there's a 1940, which is, yeah, it's definitely better condition than the one in there. Let's take that one out and swap those around. Okay, yeah, it's a bit tatty, that one. Let's replace it. That one, much nicer. Oh, I've got this part bag here. I forgot about this one. Let's see what we've got in there. Uh, so, one, two, three, eight. Nothing in that one though. Right, so got another bag here. Didn't finish this one off, did I? There we go. <clears throat> oh, 51. 51, a 51. Oh my god. It's getting good. A bit of corrosion on the bottom there, but. That's another scarce one. 51. 1,184,000. Wow. Cracking. So all we need now really is 43, 46. Well, as you can see, zoom in there. It's only got 620,000. Uh, can't believe we haven't found a 43 or a 61 yet. Let's keep looking. Now, that's a nice condition, 58 there. So, oh, no, it's not. Oh, I was just gonna swap that, and then we saw this corrosion on it. Oh, I hate that stuff. That is a trouble with brass, or brass, however you wanna pronounce it. Get rid of that one. Oh, shame. 55. Oh. on some of them. And there's another 1953. It's uh, not good. But it is a different obverse, so let me show you the two obverses of Elizabeth. Okay, the 53 on the left says Elizabeth die grat Brit om Regina. And the later one, this is a 65, Elizabeth II de grat Regina. There's no, the word Brit has been removed. So there's the 53. And that's the later one, 65. Okay, that's those two in. And straight away we find a 43, which I can't believe we haven't found before. And there we go, it's got that one in. So the only one missing there is 46 on that page, uh, 61 on that page, and the unlikely to find 66 or 67 on that page. So what actually is the design on the George VI ones? Well, it's a thrift plant. There it is, or Sea Thrift. From 1937, 
to 1941, the silver threepenny bit was still being minted and was alongside these. And then up until 1945, it was only minted for overseas colonies. And only one is known to exist in the 1945. And anything I've got wrong, please put me right. Right, I've got some Melton Mowbray pork pies in the fridge and I can't resist it, I've got to go and have one. So I shall be back instantaneously. Look at that, bit of Coleman's mustard on there, hot English Coleman's mustard. That was delicious. Right, hands washed, let's carry on. Looking for that 61 now. 60. Nice condition, 64, but no, I think the one I got is as good as that. Got this bag to finish off, and then there's two after this. Yeah, 61. I think it's a 61. Yep, yeah, there's a 1961. Not in, not in the best of conditions, but it fills the gap. And there we go. So it's just a 46 now and 66 and 67 if they exist, but I don't think they're going to be in here somehow. Oh, look at that. That is a nice condition, 42. A little bit of machinist there, but oh, look at that. Very nice. Definitely swapping that. That's the one with a broken back to it. Never mind, look at the quality of that. 103, 103 million of those made though. So, oh, lovely. is slightly better yeah it is better than the one we've got so I'm going to swap that one as well Sixty-four. what's this one up here oh that's the 42 I just taken out isn't it? yeah oh, another 53 that's a better condition 53 no corrosion on that one so it's another swapper So I'll get that obverse out of there, that's a bit manky, and we'll replace it with that one. What I should have done by now is change the 56 and 57 because they're pretty bad quality. We've found a lot of those but uh, I forgot to change them so we'll go through the last two bags and if I can't find any I'll go through the pile. So we've got a jersey three pence there or one fourth of a shilling. 1957 found its way in there somehow. Different. That's a slightly better 56 than the one we've got. We'll change that in a minute. And 62, which would have been better, but again, a little bit of corrosion on there. Change up 56. Better. And another 61, but that's not quite as good as the one we've got. Oh. Yep. That's an even better quality 56. <laughs> I'll change it again. And that's a better quality 57. And I'll change that one as well. That's quite a good 52 there. So I think I'm going to change that as well. Right, 
let's get these changed. 52 for that one. 56 is going to be changed yet again for that one. And 57 for that one. That's better. There we go. Now we come to the last bag and just this 46 required. Come on, last bag luck for 1946. Now there is an excellent condition, 66, very first 66 of the whole hunt, and that is in well, pretty much unused condition though, isn't it? So that makes me think these must have been bagged up, probably sometime in 1966. Oh, this gets another one for the book, which I didn't expect to get. That is in great condition. 66. All right, so that sort of narrows it down to 66. If I don't come across any 67s, which it doesn't look like I'm going to. All right, this is the last lot. And that is it. What a shame. No 1946. Oh well. Okay, I do have a 67. Here's a 67, which I might as well add to it. This is the crowned portcullis, and it's designed by William Gardner. See WG under there. So I might as well add that anyway, even though I didn't find it in the hunt. And all I've got to do is purchase the 1946, and we'll have a full album there. Not too bad. Okay, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, what I'll do, I suppose I could take that, that could be a thumbnail, I'll take a picture of that, couldn't I? There we go. I've added the 67 myself, which makes me think that these were bagged up in 1966, like the guy said, he said the mid-60s, so, okay, there we are. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, that would be appreciated, and uh, I'll see everybody in the next video.